pastors and leaders right. and, and all these bishops and prophets and the people with the big titles. But I want you to understand that all of us as the body of Christ have a, a significant amount of weight on us. Yeah. And whether we understand how much of that weight is on us or not, it doesn't really matter. I want you to know and carry this away with you that the, uh, the, the majority of the amount of weight that's on you is not for you. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how unfair it may seem. Because the majority of the amount of weight that's on your life right now is not for you, but it affects you. It seems personal. It seems like anytime something crazy go down, it go down with my name. Or anytime something goes on with the leadership, it's always with me. I'm the one that's always carrying the most. Or I'm the one who's always doing this or responsible for this. Or my money is the one that's always jacked up. And you can sit there and intercede for everybody else, but your stuff still jacked up. So it singles you out. Because the weight is not for you, but it affects you. And the weight that's on you is for what you're carrying and what the Lord has given you to deliver. And so when you deliver it, then all of a sudden you're still left with the issues that the weight brought when it was there. Come on, this is good to me. And so... I you know, sometimes you have to minister yourself out of some stuff. And, and I bless God because I need this today. And so I'm going to preach real hard for a few minutes. And then I'm going to sit down. I think, I think I'm doing good if I can see properly. I think I'm doing all right. <clears throat> so y'all keep me on time. Don't let me be up here too long. And so now you're left with the effects of having this way. Work with me. Work with me. So it left up. You know it was there because it, it didn't crush everything that was bearing up the way. And so in the word, it says that the child was caught up. And so after the child was caught up, it says she was in and, and, and Use your prophetic imagination with me, if you will. This big old tail dragon sitting there looking her in her face, trying to devour her baby. Her attention went from the baby to herself because now her life is in danger. She see the baby just floating up to heaven. Well, I guess the baby good, but what about me? I'm sitting here looking at this dragon like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this mess that's looking at me in the face? And, and the word says, I'm not making this up. The word says that God sent her to a wilderness. A wilderness is defined as an uncultivated land where wild things grow. So I'm about to tie it into something I'm going to sit down. And so you find here that she was thrown into a wilderness by God. And the Bible says where they Yeah. 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 Yeah.